Hi friends, welcome back to our series where we are discussing different health facts. Now on this wellness Wednesday, I'm going to talk about protein. We all have heard that protein is a friend when you are on a weight loss journey. Your carb, your sugars, your everything else is an enemy but protein is your friend. Now why is it said why protein is so important? So today let's understand that protein really helps us for building muscles. It is important nutrient that is used for building bones, nails, hair, skin, muscles, all of it. Even our blood vessels. So protein is important for building up our body. At the same time, protein utilizes more calories or more energy to break down. So when your body is digesting protein, that time your body is going to utilize more energy. Now protein has a low glycemic index. It does not break down easily. So that is why you feel full for a longer time. So automatically that binge eating and unnecessary snacks are avoided easily. That definitely helps in your weight loss journey. Due to high thermic quality, when you increase your protein intake, it also increases your metabolic rate. And we all know higher metabolism is definitely a friend on our weight loss journey. Now that you know all of this, I'm sure you all are going to rush to eat protein for your routine needs. But remember that only certain amount of protein can get absorbed per meal. So make sure you eat 25 to 35 grams of protein and not more than that so that you don't waste that protein or put too much pressure on your internal organs to digest that protein and flush it out. So rather than having too much protein at one go, try restricting it to smaller quantities but frequently so that your body gets time to digest it well and absorb it as well. When this protein is absorbed, it is definitely going to help in building your body well. Having higher protein content also helps in flushing out toxic fats from our body and that is why it helps in your weight loss journey again. So guys, proteins are definitely your friend but too much of anything is bad. So remember to have protein in every meal but also pair it with other nutrients as our body needs all the nutrients in balanced quantity. Now when we talk about protein, let's understand which are the foods that have lots of protein content. So we all know now non-vegetarian food is a great source of protein. So be it your chicken, meat, egg, fish, all of it definitely has a lot of protein. But at the same time, your milk and milk products, soya products, lentils, sprouts, all of your nuts and seeds, your oats, as I said, soya products, so your tofu, soya milk also has a lot of proteins. So even if you do not eat non-veg, you don't have to worry. You include all these vegetarian foods in your every meal and that will still suffice for your protein content. Of course, non-vegetarian proteins are complete proteins as all nine essential amino acids are present. But when you combine these vegetarian protein meals with correct quantity and amount of carbs, it does make it a complete protein. So don't you worry about that. I'll see you next week with another health fact. But till then, eat protein and stay healthy. Take care. Bye.